Good morning, all. Uh, I'm Ran Maidan. I'm the president and CEO of uh, Netafim. Thank you, Alan and John, for the opportunity. Thank you for uh, coming here and listening uh, about uh, the Netafim uh, story. So what is Netafim? Netafim is a company that is, uh, invented the drip irrigation uh, more than 50 years ago. It was invented in the south part of Israel in Kibbutz Chatzirim. The, I think that all of you know that south part of Israel is a desert and they cannot grow agriculture in the desert. So it came from a necessity how to grow food and they invented the drip irrigation. And what is Netafim today? Today we have 50 years of irrigation experience. We are the world largest irrigation company. We are a number one position. We are a very strong brand. When you're saying Netafim, it's like the Frigidaire. It's the, when someone say irrigation, you say Netafim. Netafim means irrigation. Let's just close the door over there, please. The, the one. The strong global presence, superior technology that I will try to explain to you about, very strong project capabilities, very strong in emerging markets, and selling around $1 billion in a year. So we started, as I said, in 1965, in a small barn in a kibbutz in the south part of Israel. And today, we are the leading, we are the biggest irrigation company in the world bigger than uh, the Lindsay and the Valmont in the USA, or the Jain, which are the Indians, or the Chinese, or the Europeans, and all the players in the world. And as you can see, we have around 30% market share globally. We are around two times bigger than the second player after us. And you can see here that in all countries in the world, we are the number one, other than two small countries, one called India, which we are the second player after Jain, which are the Indian player, but we are gaining market share. And another small country that I'll discuss afterwards about China, that now we are on a penetration mode. So many people ask me, Ran, what is Netafim? Is it an Israeli company? It's a global company. And I think that we were able to develop what we are calling the hybrid model, which we are very proud of, because on the one hand, we are very proud that we are an Israeli company. There are a lot, a lot of advantages to be an Israeli company and we want to keep it. Because what is Israel? Israel is about best practice in agriculture. We are the number one in water management globally. And we have a lot, a lot, a lot of technology and innovation in Israel that we want to keep. And we want to see how to leverage this technology and this innovation. But on the other hand, Less than around 2% of my sales are in Israel. I have no suppliers that are coming from Israel. So most of the business is outside of Israel, and we need to see how to be competitive. So you can see that out of 17 manufacturing plants, 14 are outside of Israel, only three are in Israel. And out of 4,500 employees, around 1,000 in Israel, and all the rest, 3,500 are outside of Israel. So all the marketing activities, a lot of the production, we are doing close to the market, while in Israel we are keeping what we are good at, innovation, business development, technology, etc. This is the Netafim backbone. I will be honest with you, if I would have been sitting here 15 years ago or 10 years ago, I would not put this slide. Because I say, what is the purpose? If you would ask me 15 years ago, I would tell you the purpose is to make money. That's why we are here, you know, we are making money. Today, it's not enough. It's not enough, not for me, and for sure not for my employees. When an employee comes and works in the morning, he needs to understand that there is value to what he's doing. There is a purpose to what he's doing. And our purpose is helping the world grow more with less. And think how powerful is it. Everything that we are doing in the company, it's all about, first of all, grow more. We don't speak about the water, we don't speak about the irrigation, we speak about the value proposition for the farmer at the end. If he asks to buy Netafim, if he is buying Netafim, he will get between 50 to 100% higher yield versus if he will irrigate in a traditional manner. So first of all, he is growing more, and the less is first less water, but not only water. He's saving on fertilizers, on crop protection, on labor, and other inputs. The second is the values. You know, companies five, 10 years ago said, what is the values? Values are quality first, and I don't know, we'll put it in the, 
in the kitchen or somewhere at the entrance. And uh, today, values are very important. And the values of Netaflim, as you can see, are behavioral values. Because we want people to behave in this way, it doesn't, mean, it doesn't matter if they are on sales, R&D, or operations. We want to strengthen the dare. The dare is, I think, what we are in an Israeli company, very strong. We want to dare, we want to do things that no one did before. It's a little bit, the one here knows what we are calling the Israeli chutzpah, we want it to be in the company. We want the people to do things that crazy people do, because this is the only way in order to lead markets and to be number one. The second, we want to make it happen, very strong execution. The third is create an impact. We want to think big, and we want to create partners for success for many years. We are not here for one quarter and not for one year. We have a very, very clear strategy, and our clear strategy is divided in four key pillars. The first one is geography. The second is crop. The third is go to market, and the fourth one is technology and innovation. And I will start with the geographies. You can see here the orange dots. The orange dots is where we started 20, 30 years ago. Great markets, the US, Brazil, Australia, South Africa, Europe, great markets, very nice to do business in. We have very strong market share there of 35 to 50%. Very nice margins. There is one big problem there. The growth is not as big, as significant as it used to be in the past. And if you are working in these markets, you can generate 5, 7, 9% growth. If you want to go to double digit growth, you must go to the emerging markets. You must be in China, you must be in India, you must be in Africa, and you need to invest there in a big way. Uh, Alan said in my previous job, I was living in Singapore for four years and I developed emerging markets for my previous company. This is a must. If you want to grow with double digit, you must be in these markets. And I would like to give an example of our activities in China. And I would start first of all with a, a short story. I said, we need to invest in China when I joined the company in 2014. And before that, for many years, Netafin tried to penetrate to China. And then, in a good year, Netafin were able to sell uh, $7 million. And then the year afterwards, it went down to $4 million, And then they changed the CEO. And then they moved to seven. And for 20 years, that was the situation. And I said, we need to go to China. And then one of the directors said to me, Ron, you're correct. We need to invest in China. Let's invest $2 million in China. I was a new CEO. I didn't know what to say. I wanted to be more polite. And I said to him, I'll be very honest with you. If you want to invest $2 million in China, it's better let's donate the money to someone because $2 million anyway, we are going to lose the money because in $2 million in China is nothing. So it's better to donate it and not to invest it. So he said to me, Ran, we are selling only five million and we would like to sell nine million next year. So how much you want to invest? I said, I want to invest $10 million. I said, well, you're crazy. As Alan said, your background, you were CFO. How you will invest 10 million when you are selling only five or nine million? I said, if you want to build a platform to $100 million in China, that's what you need to do. We were not able to spend the whole $10 million because we were not able to recruit the people because the talent is very challenging and we were able to spend in the first year or to invest seven, maybe seven and a half million dollars out of our plans. But the bottom line, we built a very strong team there. We built a plant there. You can see here the team, you can see the plant. We came with a very unique go-to market to China which have a significant scarcity of water and the numbers speak for themselves. We grew 5, 9, 15, 25, 38, and this is $55 million. So we are speaking about 50 to 60% every year that we are growing in China. And this is the spirit when we are saying an Israeli company to come with a lot of their, make it happen, to identify markets which are very competitive and to enable to have significant growth with a, in a profitable manner. The second uh, uh, strategy is about the crops. We would like to penetrate to more crops. Traditionally, we were on the 
what we are calling high value crops, which is vineyards, uh, almonds, uh, coffee, cocoa, but the big acres are in the, what we are calling the commodity crops, on the corn, on the sugar cane, on the alfalfa, on the rice. And we developed a very unique system of drip irrigation, which is coming subsurface, around 40 centimeters below the ground, irrigating directly the roots. And then you can put this system, you can put this system for 10 or 20 years. You can walk with your tractor and with your combine on it. Very easy, very simple, which is very unique system. And that's how we penetrate a lot. And today, the sugarcane is our biggest crop in the company. The third element is thinking about the end-to-end -end solution. So you can think about to sell a dripper or a dripper line, but it's more important to see that the full ecosystem, you need to start to see where is your water source, and then you have filters, and you have valves, and you have water meter, and you have automation. And we say, okay, instead of selling a product, let's start to increase our share of wallet and to sell more uh, uh, products to our potential customers. And more important than that, we said that the afterwards, let's look on a full turnkey project and let's change the customer experience of our, for our customers and to offer them end-to-end -end product. And you can see here in the last two, three years, these are projects, just to give you an example, a project in, in India of more than 11 thousand hectares. The one that uh, live here in Israel is like doing the old the Galil the, in one shot. So this is extremely, it's hectares, you need to multiply by 10 for dunams. So think about it's more than 100,000 dunams or acres. Uh, uh, it's, uh, for the Americans, it's around, let's say, 25,000 acres to do in one shot for 6,700 farmers. So to go and to do full turnkey project. The third element of the go-to market is all the digital tools. I think many of you invest in startups and I would say that 10 years ago, IT was an expense, was a headache, was a capex. Today, IT for a CEO is a competitive advantage. What you can do with this IT in order to change the rules of the game, because today differentiation, customer experience is not only in the product. It's also how you manage the company. It's also how you are able to sell. And I'll give you a few examples. For example, BI. BI changed the rules of the game. Let's say if five years ago we would uh, do monthly or quarterly results, able to give it, you know, 15, 15 days after the month ended, I got from the CFO a report, what were the results of the month. This morning, I arrived here at 8.30, I opened my uh, uh, iPhone, and I could see every cell that is happening in the company by customer, by country, by profitability, and you can have practically, even on an industrial company, a daily PNL or an hourly even PNL, what is happening? We change the rules of the game, how you manage the company. Uh, another example is all the internal communication, all the system that you can do for eye learning. Think about it. I have 5,000 people, most of them are remote area. How we can do eye learning? How we can uh, 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 give them the feeling and the belonging of a one company? And, of course, the, the CRM, but here many of you invest in software, so let's understand what does it mean, quick designs. How we can do quick designs? And I will explain what is it. Three years ago, if a customer comes to Netafim and will say, I have now uh, 100 hectares, 50 hectares, I want you to do to me a project, I, want you, I have a cotton or sugar cane, and I need the system, someone would come to him, tell him we need maps, give us information. Most probably to, to, to make a, a design for a system, an irrigation system will take three weeks. It's a very complicated issue. Today, 
with a, a company that we work, you know, it's not, it's not that we are doing it, it's a software company that does it for us. You are going with your car, with the owner, with the GPS, and tell him, where is your water source? This is my water source. You press, this is the water source. Let's continue to drive. What you're growing here? Cotton, okay. Now what you're growing here? Sugar cane, okay. Everything goes automatically, cloud, Google map. In 20 minutes, we give him a design that the gap, the variety is 2% from the end, end, end price. And we are taking the risk and we are telling him this is the quote. So until they go to the porch and have coffee, he can give him a quote. Think about it changes the all the way that we are doing business. Because now we have a problem. You know, it's like you go to the doctor. Now we have the problem you need to offer him. Not in three weeks that he will think about something else. And uh, dealer's portal, you know, all the portals, the way that you do, you know, how people place orders, how quick they are doing it. So all these digital tools are changing the way that companies does work, and all these startups and companies that you are investing in are changing. I will tell you at the end of the day, everything is cloud. At the end, we are spending more money on IT versus with what we spent a few years ago, significantly higher amount because it creates significant competitive advantage for us. The last pillar of our uh, strategy is about technology. We are investing a lot on technology, if it's on, the prod, if it's on the dripper itself, if it's on the irrigation full solution, and maybe the most, the most important thing and the most significant change that we did and we are still doing is what we are calling the automation, the digital farming. What is a digital farming? Just for you to understand what is it. Think about it, I'm a farmer. I need to decide how to irrigate, how to nutrigate, and even how to apply my crop protection. Now what we are doing, first of all, we are an Israeli company. So we have said there is an issue, and there is a problem, and we need to see how to improve the yield. So what is the advantage for us in Israel is, the, of course, the technology. So we approach a company that I think is the number one company as a software company in Israel that knows how to do the best command and control. But what is, you know what is the, who is the company? No, A200 is the unit I was when I was an officer 30 years ago. That's my background. Uh, but after I finished the A200, at the end, it's very good. Why? Because all the command and control is the same. You need to understand what is happening. You need to monitor. You need to analyze, and then you need to act. It doesn't matter if it's an F-16 that you need to see what is happening, let's say, on, on your radar, to analyze it, and then to decide if to shoot a missile or not, or to do it in agriculture. And the company, I think John presented it, called them Prest. They are the best company in Israel that knows how to do command and control. But they are doing it for the Iron Dome. So we said to them, instead of doing it to the Iron Dome, which is nice, let's move and let's try to do it in agriculture. And that's what we developed with Impressed. So you can see here, this is an illustration of a cornfield. You can go to this cornfield and you can put sensors. You can put sensor of what is the level of moisture on the ground, what is the uh, humidity, how green the leaves are, how thick the branches, how the crop is growing. And then you are taking all this information via LoRa communication, radio communication, you deliver it to what we are calling here to the controller. From the controller, you take this information via cellular communication to the cloud. And the cloud gets also a lot of other information. For example, today it's not raining, but tomorrow it's going to rain. So let's not irrigate today because we are wasting our money. Let's wait tomorrow, it's going to rain. Maybe we can put here also satellite pictures that show how green it looks from the top, and maybe we don't need to irrigate everything, we need to irrigate only part of the, of the area. So the, cl the cloud gets a lot of information, and the most important thing is to make the analysis if to irrigate or not. So we are putting a crop model at the beginning of the season, that they said for the sake of illustration, say you need to irrigate three times in a week, half an hour, just 
put the most simple way. But this is a dynamic crop model that following the soil situation, following the crop situation, following the environmental situation, following the expected weather, update it as a dynamic model and decide if to irrigate more or less. Now think what we are doing here in Etafim. We are taking here a company that at the end have a plastic pipe that comes and gets the nearest place and the most important place, which is the, 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 the roots of the, of the crop. This is the most important thing for the farmer. And we have the access to these roots. And what we are doing, we are not selling irrigation anymore with this software. We are selling a delivery system that delivers water. It delivers also fertilizers and crop protection in a precise manner that at the end of the day delivers significantly higher yield, Deli do it with significant lower input, water, but also fertilizers which are very ex exp expensive, also crop protection, and the most important thing with a great peace of mind for the farmer. Many of the farmers that we install the system say, run, now I can go on Saturday with my children to the beach because before that I could not leave the farm. Every day I need to go there and see in my own eyes what is happening. Today he can open his iPhone and see everything. So this is a game changer. And that's the beauty, and I think that's the beauty of Israel, the, this ecosystem that we can work together and you know, two phone calls you get whoever you want and then say, okay, that's what I have, that's what you have, let's see how we can work together and change the rules of the game. We are changing the industry. It's not changing, it's not a product. It's to put a brain to the, to brain to the irrigation system. That's what we are doing. We take an irrigation system and we put a brain into it and we are doing it with Impressed and let's now see a short clip about it. In a world where everything is digitally connected, innovation is no longer a nice to have. Moving faster than ever before and taking action in real time is a matter of win or lose. Everything around us, cars, cities, ports, farms, even our bodies, are all connected. So what is your response? How will you discover new opportunities in one of the most transformational times in human history? Are you driving change or are you being driven by it? Once upon a time, business as usual was often good enough. Where we are going, good enough no longer exists. We are proud to present Netafim NetBeat the only fully integrated irrigation management solution able to combine monitoring, controlling, and optimization in real time. It all begins with standard sensors in the field that measure and collect data about soil, plant, and water conditions. Data from the field also includes readings of pressure and flow in the pipes. The data they collect is transmitted through a central field unit to the main control unit. This transmission is done using advanced low power radio communications up to 10 kilometers in range. The main control unit is an independent intelligent multi-line unit that can manage irrigation and nutrigation programs. It can communicate via cellular, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. The main control unit sends real-time data from the field to a unique cloud solution. The cloud contains more than 50 years of agronomical and hydraulic knowledge. Simultaneously, the cloud receives data from external sources such as weather forecast and satellite images. The cloud then analyzes all this data and converts it into optimal irrigation recommendations and alerts that are sent directly to the farmer's smartphone with a simple user-friendly interface. Now the farmer can make a decision and deploy concrete actions in real time. This decision is transmitted back to the main controller to operate valves and dosing units based on the optimized recommendations. The actions are executed even in the most remote field units using the advanced low power radio. This unique integrated solution guarantees the farmer optimized use of resources, maximized yield, profitability, and ultimately, peace of mind of knowing the crop is growing optimally year after year. Netafim NetBeat, prepare for tomorrow, today. 
So we were able following that uh, to deliver significant results. Our EBITDA, there are no numbers here, but I can tell you that the EBITDA here was 80 million, here was 135 million, 18% EBITDA growth every year. We were able to sell the company this year to Mexico as a strategic investor for close to $2 billion, which is uh, the, the last transaction, let's say in four years, it's m from $800 million, which was the previous transaction, to $1.9 billion uh, uh, today. And as a summary, you know, what are the stakes in order to win? So I think that first of all, you need to have a very strong purpose and values why you wake up in the morning and all the organizations need to have all the people why they wake up in the morning. We need to see how to increase the addressable market. You know, the market is always huge. It always dep depends how you define it. And you know, for us, it's new geographies, a new crop, and to each one is the is, uh, uh, own uh, markets. Innovation and go-to-market approach, it's crucial. Today, the market are changing quick. You need to see how to do more demand creation. You need to think how to move to solution to improve the customer experience and to use more and more digital tools in the way that you go to the customers. Software is the big thing. In everything, there will, you know, I don't believe in a definition of high tech and low tech anymore. There will be only good companies and companies that are not good. If companies would not innovate, they will die. By the way, even if you're a high tech company, and we have experience. So if you don't innovate, you will die. If you will innovate and you'll bring the best technology, for example, in Israel into your business, you'll be able to continue to grow. And it's all about how to be a true global company, but also to leverage the strong capabilities of innovation and technology that we have in Israel. Thank you.